keep trying, but you find it too long. Had you been looking for some oh long? Good evening, you all. It's me and my honey. We are on our session um, with our long distance relationship. We want to come on and we want to welcome everybody for coming in. Uh, we welcome you um, coming, just listening to us. To um, I don't know what we want to call this. Maybe we'll call it like a podcast. Um, maybe we'll keep it like a, a series. Like, babe, what do you think we should call it? A series or a podcast? Okay, we'll keep it as a series. Okay, so we, we're going to keep it as a series, y'all. So, um, basically, if you're new to my channel and you're new to listening to our series, we are in a long-distance relationship. We both love God. When God blesses you, you don't know how he's going to bless you, but let God do it. Don't try to do it. And this time, for the very first time in my life, I let God handle this relationship and it's been going so great y'all so tonight's session we'll just talk about mainly shyness so babe were you comf comfortable like opening up to me i'm comfortable opening up to you okay when we first started um getting to know one another who was the shy one and <laughs> who was the one that had to encourage the other one to talk you're the shy one. Sometimes I'm the shy one. Yes. Sometimes I'm the shy one, but we both encourage each other. Yes, we both encourage each other. We do. We really do, y'all. Like, sometimes he he want to ask certain questions, and I'm like, just go ahead and ask me. And he's like, I don't know. Um, I'm afraid of how you're going to respond. Like, I don't know what your response is going to be. And I'm like, just ask me. Um... And on my part, it's like when we first started talking, he would, he would literally tell me, ask me anything. And I was like, I don't know what to ask you. Because, y'all, in my last relationship, it's just been like, and I'll say um, other relationships that I were in. I'll put it like that, um, where if I was to ask the other person a question, it was like I was being pushed away. I was being like making it seem as if i'm i was basically feeling like i was asking too many questions so when he came to me and he was like ask me anything i was like oh my god i never had anyone to really come to me and be like ask me anything so as i started asking these questions he just started coming out with the answers and i'm like okay this and if i was to pause or be like i don't know what else i need to say or whatever i want to ask you he was like just think of something so, oh my gosh. Babe, do you remember that? <laughs> yes, I do remember that, babe. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, it's like, both of us, we are with the shyness, but we do, like, compliment each other. Like, I'll make him laugh. Um, he sits there, he just looks at me. Babe, most of the time when I'm asking you, like, why are you staring at me? What would you say? Because <laughs> you're beautiful. <laughs> and y'all, when he say that, I blush like I'm blushing right now. Y'all can't see my face. Um, if it's anything that he's when he's feeling like down and low, you know, we make each other feel good. It's not like um, whenever he's talking, I don't over talk him, and if I do, I do apologize. And he's like, "That's fine, don't worry about it." But that's just me, babe. Did you have a question when it comes to you questioning me about anything? Yeah, most times. <laughs> If you want to question, I'm good. I'm giving the men this advice now. Most times, if you want to question your lady, you first of all have to know the type of person she is. You first of all have to know if you trust her or not the thing she's capable of doing. Before you question her certain questions, or if you're not the type of person she is, that she cannot really do anything for at your back. You don't need to throw funny questions at her. You don't need to question her necessarily. You just have to sit back and watch how the pain is going. Yeah. You may really need to question her thoughts. It's not about throwing out the on unnecessary questions that doesn't make sense or something or that will get hard with 
I think in every, every person has his or her own ways and nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. My question is the amount of trust that you have for me. How much trust do you have for me by us being so far from one another? I know you are not doing anything for me, you know. I mm-hmm. trust you more than 100%. Even so, if I give you more than 80%, I still trust you more than 100%. Yes. And yes. one thing that I love about it even through my shyness in the beginning now it's like i'm like i overcame that shyness um even in the beginning of my shyness i love that you're honest your honest opinion matters a lot and a lot of people in relationships will just say things just to make the other partner feel good and that's not good i don't like a person to just tell me something just to get me out of their face or just to make me feel like yeah you doing this yeah you're doing real good no just be honest and i love that about you you're honest you don't tell me what i want to hear you tell me the truth and that makes things for me go better you know like I know a lot of people they just like to hear good things all the time but if you never hear like the bad things about you you'll never learn so I feel like through my shyness you helped me a lot and I'm gonna tell you what you helped me with like you know me I'll sit in front of the phone and we're facetiming and I'll lift my shirt up just to show my belly a little bit and I just will grab my stomach y'all I literally will grab my stomach and be like you sure you want all this and what did what would you tell me when I ask you? Are you sure you want all of this? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, and it's like he, I know. I remember one time he was like, "Just give it to him," you know. So, <laughs> it's just like I started just being comfortable, more comfortable around him, not too shy. Um, even with my hair, y'all. Sometimes I would sit in my. On the phone with him, we FaceTime it and my hair won't be done. It'll either be standing up on the top of my head or braid it down to my scalp. And I'm like, uh-uh, babe, I need to get my hair done. So, babe, when I say I need to get my hair done, what do you <laughs> what do you always say? <laughs> and I'm like, no, I need to get it done. No, I need to get it done. So, I just feel so comfortable around him, y'all. And it's like, if you can find you someone that you're you you know you feel comfortable around and they make you feel comfortable and they make you they just keep you encouraged with letting you know how beautiful you are with or without makeup with or without your hair done like just get someone that's like that you know what i'm saying that's motivating you pushing you through anything and it's not what you have it's literally your action speaks volume so by him just showing me small little things those add up to big things and i'm just that type of person and i just i don't know i just fell in love with how he really caters to my needs to my thoughts to my emotions to everything about me he just caters to that and i love that and i pray that like i said like i always tell y'all if you're in a long distance relationship don't give up don't get discouraged because God has everything under control, and if you let God lead it, it will go as planned. You know, like we didn't go in, we didn't come in with everything rolled out. Um, we just came in. You know, He contacted me. I was like, no, 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 no. I was running away from Him. If y'all go back on our other series, you will hear when um, how He's saying that He, you know, basically messaged me. He kept getting in contact with me because I would not contact him back i look at it and i'm like nope nope i would ignore him for a long time i finally gave in i let god i just gave it to god and i let god do what he had to do and here we are literally now i can say babe how many months (laughs) nine months months, (laughs) y'all and i was saying in my in our other series i was like we were actually um together no I asked him I was like babe how many how long have we been together and I was like it was like seven months he was like no it was it's eight months so y'all he literally corrected me like he really is like paying attention to everything and I'm and I forgot it was something else that it was just the other day and I was oh the kids going back to school 
he remembers everything like he came up to me because I was like yeah the kids go back to school next week he was like I know babe they go back on um August 10th and I'm like you are <laughs> you paying attention to everything like everything so that lets me know that he really is into me if anybody if if you're in a relationship and i've been in this type of relationship where you're with someone and they don't remember certain things it could be the smallest thing the biggest thing and they don't remember that to me most of the times people do forget but if they're really into you they're going to remember so i feel like people don't really be into you if they're claiming they forgot something so i just i don't know i just love all of that about him y'all so yeah so um i hope that this a mini clip of um of our series really did help you um if you have any questions you can leave them down below do not be shy we love to respond to you all um these are questions the questions that we actually come up with or that we talk about is something that we are really experiencing and we have experienced so if it's anything that you all would like to just know talk about or anything like that please leave your comments down below we will be happy to respond to you all and we'll do another series for you all specifically for you we will mention your name and we will even give you a shout out so just comment down below don't be afraid don't be like, oh, people could want to be in my business. No. Or you can um, you can actually um, message me on Instagram. It's Sharonda underscore the underscore goddess. Yes. Baby, do you have any, like, closing things that you want to say? <laughs> all right, so thank you all to, thank you all to the audience out there listening to our series of, uh, series of video about long distance relationship. Thank you all. <laughs> Good night, y'all. We love y'all, and we'll see y'all in our next series.